Hey guys, so another quick one for you, and this is one that I've actually thought on for a while and actually sat on the idea of putting this video out since last summer, and that is the Gods of Destruction I would actually want to not only see but buy as well in figure arts form. So the thought process behind my picks are as follows. Of course, all out awesomeness is a factor, but in addition, like always, I think about how different the character is in relation to the figures we already have, such as the physique, color scheme, and just overall pop on a shelf. So without further ado, I give you my picks for the Gods of Destruction I would want to see and buy in figure arts form. So this is one that a lot of you probably assumed would be on this list, as well as maybe even have on your lists. And with good reason, we've seen him arguably the most other than Beerus. Second to that, we've actually seen his prototype a couple years back along with his attendant Vados. Anyways, Shampa is a figure I would say is eventually coming to us once Tamashi establishes a little bit more consistent rhythm with regard to how much super characters are put out a year, let alone side characters. However, I feel Shampa will be a welcomed addition once he does arrive. Now I'm assuming the reason we haven't seen him yet is that we don't exactly have any Universe 6 characters to pair him with in the figure arts line. For me, Shampa would add a little comic relief from the amount of tension other characters in my collection tend to convey, so when he does come out, I'll probably be scooping him up. Alright, so next up on my list is another character who sort of grew on me, not just for the comic relief, but because I thought his design was so radically different than any of the gods, let alone characters aside from Majin Buu. And that is Ramush or Rumshi. I mean, hey, a big tall elephant, how can you say no? Well, as long as he's not like 70 bucks, sure. The problem here is much like most of the other gods on this list is who would you pose him with and his lower popularity. I mean, I, like I said, the aesthetics of this figure would be cool to mess around with in poses. It's just a shame that we don't know too much else about his character to come up with some really relevant poses other than the just the comical ones. Alright, so right in the middle of this list and hot off the tails of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie, we have Likir. Safe to say, we know like absolutely nothing about this guy other than he's a big fan of the Kanto region. The reason I picked this guy though is that I really like his design, and I mean, the uh, other than the trio of dangers, he's pretty unique as well. Unlike Ramush or Rumshi, at least we did get to see him in action and he seems pretty strong. Now the only thing with this guy is, other than his attendant, we have no idea about any of the characters from his universe or even what they might look like so the likelihood of this figure coming to fruition is kind of low but again this list is more than just about the likelihood all right so approaching the end of my list here i've got a god of destruction i thought was so badass and i also thought that was stronger than beerus at the time jury's still out on that one but that is gene now, my first impression of him was that of a badass creature in the Black Lagoon looking dude who was so strong he knew he'd wipe the floor with the other gods in the exhibition match. But again, now I'm thinking that was just more due to wisdom rather than strength, but again, who knows at this point. Anyways, while his color scheme isn't as exciting as Rumshi's or Likir's, his design and aesthetics are still very, very cool. Much like the problem we encountered with Likir, we have no idea what any fighter from his universe looks like if they will be introduced or whether we'll even see Jin again, so the likelihood of him getting made is probably low as well, but despite that, he remains one of my favorite Gods of Destruction. So last up on this list is of course the one and only Joker spoofing god himself, Belmod or Bermuth. Now unlike the last batch of gods I've mentioned, I do think we're more likely to see this guy, save for maybe Shampa, might be more likely. And I don't really have to say why, but the likes of Jiren and, and the potential trio of at least the Pride Troopers, it would be pretty cool to see this guy in figure form back in them. Heck, it would have even been cool to see him in action in the anime. And I think it's pretty safe to say that with the exception of maybe Android 19, we don't have too many circus-like characters floating around the Dragon Ball universe, let alone figure arts form. Alright guys, so that was my list of the Gods of Destruction I would mind seeing make the cut into figure arts form. Do you guys agree with it? Who would you swap out? Who among you is the part of the group that wants to see that damn god of destruction Iraq? <laughs> I mean, is that guy skinny or what? <laughs> I'm only joking, to each their own, right? Anyways guys, comment below, let me know what your lists are like, and you know what I always say, may the best of you today's be the worst of your tomorrows. Peace.